forgive me. Wait. Go where? Back to your pretty cage. Back to being spied on and searched and prepared for sacrifice to the charming Mr. Soames. Go on, then. Go. I'm not stopping you. I thought you had more spirit. Don't you know the danger you're in? And if I am, whose fault is that? Would you prefer me to do nothing when I see you insulted, wire-drawn and ensnared like one of those silly birds? Nothing? The dangers that I suffer are not lessened by your making them the occasion for your sport. Save your gallantries for your admirers. Madam, you may, if you choose, compel me to ignore your brother's insults to your dignity. But I cannot overlook the affronts to mine. My brother's fault, sir, do not blot out your own. Tell me, how is Miss Matthews and Miss Medlicott? Madam, whichever enemy has sought to poison your regard for me deserves my endless gratitude. Sir. I have been much to blame, I confess it. I have committed crimes against your sex. Lies, betrayals, things it makes me sick at heart to think of. Dearest creature, I would hide nothing from you. I insist that you should know the very worst of me. The blackest sins that taint my soul. Only then will you begin to see how much I am transformed. Inspired by my love for you. Until now, all I have ever known is lust. But love, this is the first time. I beseech you, dearest madam, if you would let my aunt, Lady Betty, offer you her protection. And will you protect me from my protectors? Trust me. <gasps> Shh! Meet me again, here. I'll be waiting. Do not abandon me. I, I promise you this. If they do force you to be that monster's wife, You'll be the youngest and prettiest widow in all the county.